Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continuing our Trackmania Royal tutorial series. We'll be doing a drive through of today's new map and I'll explain to you if there's any tips or strategies to help you guys through it. Hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial series. If you are, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And for now, let's get into the video. Okay, here we are on the new map for the day. It's called Sticky by Clover. Just kidding, it's called Sticky Pipes. Always like to make that joke when the, uh, the name's a bit darker here. Um, but Sticky Pipes by Clover, uh, the first Clover map we have in the pool. I have tested a few Clover maps and I think this is pretty solid. Um, I, I think the biggest thing for everyone to learn on this is these are magnetic pipes, which mean you can drive on every single side of them and you'll stick to them. However, if you transition from above here and to go around this, you transition way, uh, too fast with too much speed, too much angle, you will fall off. You have to make sure you're controlling your speed on these. So you remain uh, glued to them. Um, but they do feel a bit weird to drive on initially. It, it is a struggle to learn the physics. I struggled with it a lot just because it's very unique sticking to these pipes the way you do on these magnets. So give yourself time to actually learn them. Definitely get the feel for the pipes on white and green before you move on. As it gets a bit hectic later on uh, dodging a lot of obstacles and just... Having the muscle memory down, knowing the physics, is going to be important if you are uh, if you do want to complete the rest. Um, but yeah, honestly, a solid map. I, I think it's quite unique and, and a fun idea. And let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start it out on the white section. So another thing to note, actually, is uh, I've trialed all cams. Cam one doesn't work. Uh, if you go on the underside of the pipe here, your car just <laughs> you can't really follow what's going on down here. So cam 1's a no-no. Cam 3, what I found is the car reacts weird on magnets and cam 3 amplifies that for me. So it's fine with these stationary blocks, it's the moving blocks that I struggle with. So what I tend to use is cam 2. Obviously you try it all yourself, see what you prefer. Um, but I found cam 2, which is quite surprising because I despise cam 2, I'm not a cam 2 player at all. Um, but for something like this, it feels the most comfortable for me by far. Um, so definitely trial that on white, uh, experiment, because again, having something consistent, knowing the physics, having a consistent cam is going to be important down the track for the later sections here. But all right, on white now, what we want to do, these are all stationary, so just remember the path. The blocks don't move. Again, control your speed, because we do have some direction changes coming up. And we don't want to fall off the pipe here. And through the finish. It's also very easy to get disoriented on these pipes, not knowing which way is up or down. Um, happens to me all the time here. So it's important to make sure you have speed for the finish in case you're on the bottom of the pipe and you fall down. If you don't have speed, you won't make the finish. If you're on the top, you most likely will. But if you're on the bottom, you won't. So you have to make sure, I'm not sure exactly what the speed is that you need, but basically make sure you're finishing with enough speed that you'll fly through the finish, even if you're on the bottom of the pipe. Okay, for the green section now. And we do have some moving blocks here. They're all going in the same direction. Or like, sorry, they're not going to change directions on you. It's like some of them are going opposite direction, but they won't change direction mid-spin. Um, so just follow the gap around. There's no need to rush it. This one's going to be closer to go this side. And again, through the finish. Now we're onto the blue section. And as you can see, these ones do change direction. So just as it starts to slow down, just know that it will turn around and come back the other way. Um, but they're moving fairly slow. So as long as you're you're looking ahead, checking what's coming up, you will be fine. Just sort of try and figure out where the hole's going to be as you approach. Sometimes you get it wrong. If you do, just control your speed and make it through. See, I thought I was falling to the right there. I fell to the left. It's, it's very, very confusing. It's very easy to get disoriented. Um, but now for the red section, once again, we have these moving pipes. This one will hit, so just wait for it. These moving blocks, sorry. Make the gap here. Follow this gap. These ones are going to be nice and polite to us. This one will have to move a bit. This one's going to come around to the right, so let's just wait for that and then go through. Same as this one. There's no need to drop the other side of the pipe. Just wait for it to line up with you. And then we go through the finish. Okay, now the black section, and yeah, it's getting a bit crazy here. So let's try and make it through these. Ooh. 
these fast spinning ones. Just try and judge where the, the gap is going to be and drive through it. Uh, we'll just wait for this one to come back around. This one, give it a second. Let it come back around. Take your time. And this spinner gets a bit crazy too, but just make sure you have speed and you'll go through the finish. Okay, and let's have another go uh, here. So on white, once again, these don't spin. So as long as you memorize a path, you will be fine. And through the finish. Okay, green, same as before. They're all spinning one direction. Not going to change on you. So it gives you time to line up the, the path. And through the finish. Again, falling down. So we're on the underside of the pipe. So we had speed, so we make the finish. All right, and now for the blue section. Again, same as before. These are changing direction, but they are moving slowly enough. Oops, there's no gap there. That was a mistake, but it's fine. We have time to build up speed. Okay, I did have time because we were moving a bit slow. We had time to see we were going to fall to the left. The water was like on the left side there. But we had enough speed. It didn't matter anyway. Okay, and now the red section. Oh, kind of walking on that part. That felt interesting. Um, but yeah, a lot of this is about learning the physics of how these magnetic pipes feel. And... Once you have that, it becomes easier, but it's still definitely failable with these spinning objects. There's, there's a lot to keep track of on this map, and I think it's just, it's kind of overload when you're learning it. But once you learn it, it becomes a bit easier. Okay, and now for the black section. See if we can predict where some of these gaps will be. Take it a bit quicker. Oh, this one's awkward. Ah, we'll have to wait here. And probably should wait here. Okay, here we're just going to send, because I think it'll line up. And through the finish. And that is going to be Sticky Pipes by Clover. But yeah, crazy map. Um, fun map. Thumbs up. Yeah, it's just about learning these the physics, honestly. Um, nice dark aesthetic. It does make some of the darker sections here a little bit awkward. Um, yeah, I, I think if you're going to be using this dark setting, I think mappers should probably try and use a bit better lighting. It can be very dark on certain setups. It's something that uh, I think I think blue, I'm not a fan of the lighting on, and black, I'm also not a fan of the lighting on. Um, I think it's just something mappers need to work out for. Working on one setup doesn't mean it works on every setup, so you really need to make sure that it, it is well lit. Uh, it's something that's come up before. This isn't as bad. It's just something that has come up before, and it's something I should mention. Um... So if you're a mapper watching this, just remember if you are placing a dark setting and it's working on your setup, just bear in mind it might not work for everyone. It's just something to, to remember. There was a track of the day recently where it was basically pitch black at the start on my setup. And yeah, it's just it's just a bit frustrating that uh, these sort of things aren't being tested. Um, but yeah, honestly, solid map. That's just as a side note I wanted to point, point out. Um, for any mappers that might be watching so thank you all i think that's going to be it for the video um i hope this guide did help you out it's it's a tough map to learn but it, in my opinion it just comes down to learning the physics on the magnets there learn the physics on the magnets you'll do well um and yeah thank you all for watching i will see you all in the next one